smallest waterfall in Sri Lanka, is Bambarakanda Falls, sometimes referred as Bambarakele Falls, and plummets through an almost vertical rock face. The surrounding area is rich in biodiversity, with lush greenery. The waterfall is a popular tourist attraction, with its natural beauty and scenic views. Visitors often engage in hiking and trekking activities in the area, exploring the nearby trails and enjoying the serene ambience of the surrounding. Standing at 263 meters high, it is the 299th highest waterfall on Earth, and located at the Horton Plains base. This waterfall is located around 5 km away from the A4 highway in Kalupahana, in the Badulla district. It should go via a small, twisting road off the main road.
Ada Weir, the artist behind numerous stunning waterfalls amidst the hills, sculpted the waterfall. This body of water travels a beautiful route before joining the Wallawe River. Kanda Falls receives much less water except during the rainy season and almost disappears during the summer. This waterfall drops as a thin line from a rocky outcrop rather than being broad. The monsoon season, when the surrounding landscape is at its greenest and the water flow is at its maximum, is the ideal time to visit the waterfall. The fall is visible to the road and to get closer, you need to walk from the car park where ticket counter also situated, along a pine forest to reach the base and the foot of the waterfall. This location is roughly around 1,100 meters above the sea level.
After about 15 minutes walk by passing around half a kilometer, you can reach the base of the waterfall. You can get the real and stunning view of the waterfall from the sitting area close to the basin.
This is a secure location where you can enjoy the sensation of a genuine natural pool while taking a cold bath. If you want to experience the quiet and peace of the natural world, you should go to Lankaella Falls, another stunning waterfall in the jungle that is about 2 kilometers from the base of Bambarakanda Falls.
The waterfall and its surroundings makes a wonderful location for photographers with the cool and green atmosphere.
It will take approximately 1.5 hours to hike the 2 kilometers through the pine forest to reach the top of the waterfall. Wearing appropriate hiking shoes and taking other safety precautions is important when hiking. Photographers love Bambarakanda for its ability to produce breathtaking images of the surrounding countryside and the waterfall. Because of the altitude in the upper Bambarakanda area, visitors must take precautions and mindfully observe the nature. The upper Bambarakanda area is also has a small waterfall and a basin of water.
the recent past, experienced trainers have organized daring events such as descending from the upper Bambarakanda to the waterfall basin. To find the second, easier path to the upper Bambarakanda Falls, you have to go further from the previous car park area towards the upper side in the mountainous area. From there, to get to upper Bambarakanda, you have to descend about 150 meters through the pine forest.
Another astonishing water pool apparently and naturally designed to have baths and for swimming can be perceived close to Upper Bambarakanda which is the water source of Bambarakanda Falls. If you continue the narrow road from A4 Main Road to Bambarakanda, you can reach the Horton Plains by traveling approximately 14 kilometers via Udavaria of Hapathale, while passing extremely challenging Devil's Staircase Road, which suitable to use a motorcycle. However, the journey back from Ohia near Horton Plains to Kalubahana is relatively easier due to the slope.